Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Sega News Bits. I'm your host, George, and with me is Barry. Yo, dude! <laughs> you heard that? <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about Shimu, and more specifically, Shimu 1 and 2 HD remasters. And, you know, we've done a couple of videos in the past about this, and a lot of people are like, it's not going to happen, it's never going to happen. You know, us Shimu fans, we've been waiting so long for them to remaster at least these games. I mean, we didn't think that Shimmy 3 was going to happen, and it happened. So, this new rumor comes from Rice Digital. This person actually has contact with people in Atlas, and he, they per, kind of rumored that King of Fighters 14 was going to come out before it was announced. There's like some legit sources coming up from this uh, website. So, they've done, it, they've done rumors in the past, and they've come true. Uh, we also have the URL we talked about last time in the video. They said last year that Shimu 1 and 2 re remasters were on the top of their list or they were looking into them. The rumor is that Shimu 1 and 2 HD remasters are going to be bundled together and coming to Steam or PC by the end of 2017. And I know you're going to say, what about PS4? What about Switch? Or what about Xbox One? The person that put the rumor out says they could only confirm PC, but it doesn't mean that it's not coming out for other consoles. He already said that. What's your opinion on this, Barry? Well, Shenmue remasters, and sorry for the, the Goro a little earlier, I just, I had to do it. Uh, they've been something that have been talked about for a long time. I mean, 2010, I feel like, was when we started talking about this. Do you remember when uh, Shenmue 2 appeared on Microsoft's partner net? Yeah. And that was the same way that Sonic 4 was leaked. And so I feel like behind the scenes, this, this project has been on and off for, geez, almost a decade now, seven years, <laughs> um, maybe even longer than that. Now, what could this be? Could it be a complete remake? I doubt it. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing at most a remaster along the lines of Jet Set Radio or Knights, where it'll be widescreen. But I, I mean, in terms of the in terms of the legitimacy, I feel like this is uh, true. I don't think it's a. I mean, it's a rumor, but I think it's a true rumor. <laughs> yeah, I think the whole Shimu kind of hype train has. They saw it. Sega saw it. I think yeah. before the the uh, people higher up didn't really understand if it was just us crazy fans going crazy on Twitter <laughs> all the time, right. or if there was an actual people they're willing to spend money and I guess when they saw the Kickstarter they're like we want some of those green bills too I think the Kickstarter I mean obviously the Kickstarter worked in favor of uh, Yu Suzuki and his company what is it YSNet yeah and uh, you know of course that worked out for them but I think on Sega's side even though they were at no loss at all I, I don't think they spent a single penny towards Shenmue 3 they did see that there was a demand for the first two and I, I think, you know, I'm a Shenmue fan, but I think a lot of Shenmue fans are being very unfair to Sega, thinking that Sega is withholding Shenmue 1 and 2. Uh, to be honest, I think it's just something they've been working a long time on, and there are people who want it to happen, and there are people who are hesitant to let it happen. But I think the Kickstarter was the thing that pushed it over the top. It could have very well been that this was a project that went on pause. The Kickstarter, you know, turned some heads, and they said, all right, well, let's, let's do it and they, they resumed work on it. Now the one thing is, I feel like Shenmue 3, you know, is the one that really got this rolling, but I also feel like Shenmue 3, mm, I mean, this isn't the news we're reporting, but I don't think it's gonna come out in 2017, and I, I mean, look, I'm, I'm, I don't know how many hundreds of dollars in on Shenmue 3, but man, they, they have not gained my confidence in the past eight months. Yeah, and it's because I don't think they're really going to do it either for 2017. And I think we're used to it. I mean, you remember when uh, sh the Shimu, the first game, the hype train came yeah. out and we were reading previews, you know, going on to the release. And we're like, when yeah. is this game coming out? Delay. Delay. Yeah. I mean, even yeah. back then. So I'm assuming there's going to be delays. And that's kind of part of what, you know, with the Shimu yeah. uh, releases. I just, I really want to see footage of someone holding a controller, playing some sort of form of the game. Just Ryo walking around in a forest. That's all I want. And they haven't even given us that yet. Not yet. And it kind of concerns me. I mean, I think the game is happening, 
but I, I want to see more, you know? And I, I think being a Kickstarter project, they owe us. Maybe at E3. I would like that if they show the first gameplay footage at E3, I think it would be kind of awesome because they would yeah. kind of open it to new people and then they'll be like, oh, this is an actual thing. And then they could pre-order and then brief, I mean, I guess fund the game some more so we get a better yeah. product in the end. That would be pretty cool. But this isn't Shimmy 3 talk. I was just going to say, yeah. these two uh, remasters bundled together, that's, uh, I don't know how much they're going to cost, but that's a deal because these this so much, there's so much content in these games. Like, a lot of people are saying that if it's not a, uh, a remake from the ground up, it's kind of a waste of time and Sega's wasted their time. I disagree. Mm -hmm. I think Shimu is one of those games where there's so many textures and so much different... Vi like, every character in that game looks different. Like, the guy that owns the, the jacket shop and the guy that's a doctor, right. totally different models. Everybody's different models. This isn't like Grand Theft Auto where all the civilians are just random same textures over and over again, or Yakuza, which Kiwami got a remake, but they kind of reused a lot of textures for the people just walking around. Right, and you have to understand, too, that that's an entire committed team to that franchise. Shenmue, you know, the, the people who are really, you know, probably should be working on a complete remake of the first two are working on Shenmue 3. So I, I think we, sh we should be happy and lucky just to get a widescreen version. I mean, here's my checklist real quick. Widescreen, obviously in HD. Uh, the first and the second should have the English and Japanese languages available. And I think anyone who thinks that they're going to re-record anything is crazy. However, I think that better audio files exist, and I hope they use them because, you know, they, they really had to squeeze in a lot. Uh, a lot onto those discs for all the audio that existed, but I think it, it the quality took a hit. But I mean, it, and we're talking what if uh, four, five, six, seven discs of content. And I would also say <laughs> that uh, they should fix the frame rate. There's some frame rate issues, and like uh, that, that I mean, that, that's obvious stuff. Like, and then obviously make them look sharp, 60 frames per second, all that good stuff. And I think mm -hmm. that's what they did with Jet Set Radio. And if they handle it like Jet Set Radio, I think it's good enough. Uh, as for being bundled, I, I was kind of hoping they did them separately because yeah. so that way we get one and then six months later we'll get the other, but hey, they come two at the same time, I'm, I'm down for that. Now, what do you think about the possibility of a collector's edition from Sega? Uh, Sega of America and Atlas, they are basically all in on collector's editions. Even Sonic Mania is getting one and that's not getting a physical release that we know of. Hmm. So... What, what would you, I guess, what would you like to see with a collector's edition, assuming that it's like a digital code, even? Uh, let's say it's a digital code, but like, they do a special edition, I mean, a forklift statue? <laughs> uh, come on. Uh, yeah. Tom Hot Dog, maybe a little truck with Tom's Hot Dog on it, so we could uh, park it up. Let's see, I mean, those are the same, the best character. I mean, that's the best character. Yeah. Besides, uh, yeah. hey, bro. Oh, yeah, Goro, of course. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I haven't really thought about it. Anything that I, I I'm gonna buy it obviously, if right. it comes out, regardless of what it has. If there's a physical version, oh, I'm gonna have it. But right. what do you want in it? I'd like to see uh, Phoenix and Dragon Mirror like uh, CDs that include like soundtrack highlights or something like that, or maybe like uh, lost content that they discovered, like unused music. That could be kind of cool. I'd like to see like you mentioned, like a little statue, maybe a. a little forklift capsule toy or something like that. That would be really cool, actually, like a set of five capsule toys. That'd be pretty like cool. Like remaking, so you get like a classic Sonic. I mean, here's the thing. You put a little classic Sonic capsule toy in there, and Sonic fans are gonna get it. They're gonna be like, oh, I need every single Sonic collectible ever. <laughs> you know, what's what's Shenmue? <laughs> that, uh, exactly. <laughs> hey, if it makes them buy the game, I'm, hey, come, come over. <laughs> That's it. But, but I think this could really work in Shenmue 3's favor because let's say that game's delayed till the end of 2018, which is incredible, entirely possible. Uh, people are going to have remasters or uh, of one and two to play, so people are going to be like, "All right, well, I've got seven discs worth of content to play. I'm good. You know, let Shenmue 3 come out." Um, my only concern would be then that Shenmue 3 would really have to live up to the first two because people would have direct access to it. And uh, I hope that the first two kind of live up to people's expectations when they used to play them. I mean, 
Games yeah. age all the time, and Shimyu isn't, you know, some special flower that isn't going to have some aging going on. Right, and I mean, this is a little PSA. If you've never played Shenmue, don't watch YouTube playthroughs. That is the worst way to experience the game. And the reason is, is that when you play Shenmue, you have so many things to do, so much thing, you know, so, not to quote, so much to do, so much to see, but, you know, uh, there is. And you approach the game as you would approach life. And that was the whole idea of the full reactivized entertainment. Now, if you're going to watch some nitwit, you know, on YouTube going, hey guys, I'm going to cut out all the mini, -ga mini games and just play the game. You know, just play the story segments. Or someone who's like, I don't really know how to play, so I'm just going to spin around in place and ask the same person questions. Like, yeah. Yeah. Play it. Don't watch a playthrough. I agree with you. And uh, uh, what do you think about this rumor? Do you think it's true? Uh, what consoles do you want to see this come to? Give, tell us your opinions on the comments below.